Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to use face sets for sculpting in Blender 2.83. So let's get on with the tutorial. Face sets are a way of controlling the visibility of a mesh in sculpt mode. Face sets work similarly to a mask, but also allow you to hide and unhide parts of the mesh. When you work with face sets, Blender uses randomized colors. If we select the Draw Face Sets brush and begin painting on one part of the object, we see one color. If we then start drawing on another section of the object, we see another color. If we need to add more to one of the sections, hold down the Control key and begin painting to add to the selection. If you hold shift while painting, you can smooth out the edges of the face set. Using shift and W allows you to move your cursor over the object to make a selection. Left clicking will lock in the selection. If we hover over an area where we applied the brush and hit H, we can hide the rest of the mesh. Alt-H will unhide it. If we hover over an area outside of the face sets and hit H, we can hide the face set. Alt-H will unhide it. W is the hotkey for the menu specific to the face set brushes. If we paint a mask onto the object, and then choose Face Set from Masked from the Face Set menu, we can turn the mask into a face set. Face Set from Visible is a quick way to add a face set to everything that is visible. The Invert Visible option hides all the geometry that is part of a face set and makes all the hidden geometry visible. Show All hides all the hidden geometry that is part of a face set. Since face sets act like masks, we can also use them in our sculpting process. If we choose a brush, such as the clay strips brush, and then hide everything except a face set, we can then freely use the clay strips brush just on that face. When we unhide everything, we can now see that the brush only affected the face set and not the rest of the object. We can also use the Mesh Filter brush to modify the mesh. If we choose the Mesh Filter brush and then turn on the Use Face Sets option, we can then hover over a face set and move the mouse to the right and inflate the face set. If we then hover over a different face set and move the mouse to the left, we can inset the face set. There are multiple other options available to us with this brush. For example, if we choose random and then move our mouse to the left and right over a face set, we notice that we have a random pattern that appears. I would highly recommend trying face sets and all the options that come with them. If you have a request for a tutorial or a question about Blender, feel free to leave a comment. If you're interested in learning more about 3D art and animation, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.